Namaste. Backbend is the byproduct of the many years of preparation, building strength and flexibility of the body. It has to be approached with care. And in terms of, for example, the progression, yeah, back then should be tackled once the bandhas start to manifest. And that's about a year or into the second year of your practice. So the first few months or even the first year, just focusing on what is inherent to us, which include flexion, twisting, yeah, arm balancing, and standing poses. Right. When the bandhas start to manifest, your breath will, oh, I'd say, find a new dimension. And you'll be able to breathe through those inner centers of the body. And then you will utilize that skill yeah, to make your body light, yeah, make your uh, inner body more open yeah, as you curl back. Because backbending is not inherent to us. It's, um, for me, it's the most challenging of all the elements um, when it comes to asana. So for today, let me teach you, let me share with you how to combine the physical strength and suppleness, flexibility, yeah, and the breath pattern when we curl back. And of course, yeah, the mind would have to be ready. Yeah, so our spine yeah, can sense the fear. You know, once we're not confident of our action you know, due to lack of preparation, you know, the spine tightens. And if we force ourselves you know, curling backwards, there's a high probability or high chance that we hurt ourselves. All right, so strasana first, the kneeling back bend. All right. So although I will be teaching you those strasana and later on progressing, well, well, if you can, kaputasana, the breath pattern as well as the setup yeah, they are universal or the same across all backbending uh, elements. All right, the kneeling position. All right, loosen. Right. So as you uh, take that inhalation, you want to press down to your knees, and then just a mild hugging of your peripheries or your inner thighs to the midline, and then lift the sensation up. Yes, ascending breath in. Good. So that's the preparation. So create that initial space and open the space. You might walk the knees. You might reach yeah, the shoulders, side to side, the body, and exhale, settle. All right, you might lightly fold the hips back and then forward the hips, back and forward, and then just roll the shoulders around. So this is how I approach my back bend. Yeah, so this comes to mind and allow the body and the energy to flow. All right. So from there, yeah, the knees may be hip width distance apart or slightly narrow because expect later on as you curl back, your knees will open a little bit wider to make room for the tail to tuck under, which is a healthy way of yeah, keeping our hips strong and stable. Right? But don't squeeze. Yeah? Those, um, I'd say, internal adjustments will just organically happen as you curl back. Right? Exhale. Yeah, you may place your hands in front of you. Or you might lightly relax them to the side. You know, breathing in, exhaling. Each time you inhale, suspend forward and up. Exhale, you may lightly sway. And then you won't miss it. This sense of lightness and openness yeah, and that your body will just naturally hang up and back. Inhaling, and at the top of the breath, yeah, lift your breath up to the front and the top of your chest and lightly roll the shoulders back. And let your hands fall on your heels. Yeah? And then as you yeah, hold the position, keep pressing through those knees. And as you press through those knees, yeah, let the breath yeah, thinen the uh, muscles of the core. Yeah? And then loosen the chest slightly, open the shoulders. And then here, the shoulder blades actually, yeah, press yeah, the spine upwards. So there's this light external, um, I say, adjustment of the arm bones, so the elbows open away from you. And then that will cushion your spine, yeah, and the upper back, and then you're gonna use the breath, and this combination of the pressing up, yeah, to lift your spine up, and the breath goes here. 
Good. And then just you know, allow your head to lightly soften. But if you're not ready with this one, you know, just neutral neck. But once the upper back is open, the neck will just um, suspend lightly to the back. All right, and then to come back, yeah, inhalation, inhale, press down, so just reversing the process. Draw in, yeah, and then lightly fold the hips, exhaling, and rise to the vertical axis. And then you might walk the knees, stand to release pressure in the lower spine, yeah, and then do some recovery. Yeah, so in summary, yeah, prepare by letting go of the stagnation in the limbs. Yeah, walk the knees, loosen the hips, and circle them around. So don't rush the back bend. Yeah, and then ease the mind. Yeah, and then those I'd say um, seemingly unimportant element of relaxing the joints, they relax the mind. Yeah, and then from there, yeah, breathing in, lighten up, exhale. Settle, yeah, and then rocking forward and back. And as you do that, you might want to push, you know, lightly encourage the spine to move forward and up by lightly adjusting the shoulders. Good. If your hands are there, same thing, inhaling, yeah, hug the elbows in, lifting up, exhaling, all right. And from there, I will progress to the Kaputasana, all right, exhale, loosen. You may lightly open the shoulders wide, push through the knees, you know, thin the belly in. You, know, you might move the arms in and out, and then move the spine away from those you know, the tight spots, you know, and then let the head relax. Good, and then inhale, you may lengthen to prepare, you know, and then here, you may sway, you know, and then here, you, your mind, uh, will gain more like um, I'd say lightness, you know? and you will be able to see you know, your toes behind you. Don't rush. Yeah, you may want to open, rise up a bit. You may use the hand to lengthen and then adjust. You might cross and then draw up. Good, hang and suspend so there's no tight spots. There's no squeezing. Yeah. You may let the fingers touch the floor. This may be the deepest you can go for the day. Or, yeah, to prepare, breathing in. And hands, yeah, lightly grab your heels. And then you grab the heels from the outside. So you can scoop your yeah, shoulders externally. Right, and then to prepare the final position, Inhaling, push down to the knees. Yeah, inhale. Good. And exhale. Settle. Good. <laughs> Been a while since I've done yeah, back bend tutorial. Oh, yeah, nothing has changed. I'm happy I can still do it while talking. All right, and to come up, breathing in. Or up, reversing. You may place your hands down, and to make it deeper. Yeah, sometimes I, I will walk my knees closer, yeah, you know, to prepare my hips, and then steady them. Good. Exhale, right, and then to rise to support yourself up. Inhale, inhaling. You know, and the release is inhalation to keep your spine open. Exhale, lightly close the hips, and rise up, inhale. And walking your knees through all the shoulders. Good, and after your practice of a back bend, you do, uh, I say, a neutral spine uh, position, such as, yeah, downward facing dog, this one. Good, pedal, good, loosen. And knees down. Good. So you can do child stretch, this one. But after the back bend, I don't really encourage you to go to a deflection. So downward dog is, I'd say, yeah, not too deep in the flexion. It's more of a neutral spine, so you can restore your body. Good. 
So I hope <laughs> you are <laughs> progressing and then taking those baby steps yeah, into your extensions. Yeah, don't rush the process. It's really a challenging journey, this back bend. See you next time. Namaste.